Hi everyone. So this week we're going to learn about baby animals. Does anyone have a favorite baby animal that they like? So if you're not sure about your favorite baby animal, we're going to read a book called ABC Zooborns and you could get some ideas about which baby animals you like. So in this book, we're going to see a different baby animal for each letter of the alphabet. And you can help me say the letters when you see them. So A is for anteater. I slurp up snacks with my extra long tongue. Anyone for ants? Yum. B is for baboon. Bananas are the best and this one's all mine. C is for cheetah. You found my secret hiding spot. Shh, don't tell anyone. D is for dole. Don't you wish your peepers were as dreamy as mine? E is for elephant. We elephants love playing ball. Heads up, it's my turn to kick. F is for flamingo. My fluffy gray feathers will soon turn pink, just like my papa's. G is for giraffe. I may be six feet tall, but next to mom, I'm still tiny. For now, that is. H is for hippopotamus. Calling all water babies, it's playtime in my pool. I is for Impala. Our long legs are perfect for leaping. Let's go for a run. J is for Jaguar. I'm on the prowl for some grub. Is it dinner time? K is for Koala. I was born to cuddle. Mom's furry hug is just so snug. What's next? L is for lion. So sleepy, eyes droopy. I love my furry crash pad. M is for marmoset. Please don't tell anyone I'm monkeying around with my foot. N is for Nyala. Sometimes I nuzzle mama when I feel shy. O is for otter. We otter boys are sneaky. Better watch out. We might sneak up on you. P is for panda. I'm flat out poop from playing with my panda pals. And Q is for quail. Even at my puffiest, I'm still quite petite. R is for rhinoceros. We wrinkly rhinos are on the move. Follow us to the local watering hole. S is for sloth. Yawn, is it nap time yet? T is for taper. Well, hello there. I thought I smelled something sweet. U is for Ural Owl. I wonder what's for dinner. Mice would be nice. V is for Vicuña. Mama loves sniffing and smooching my silky soft fur. W is for Wombat. After a big day of digging, I'm all tuckered out. X is for X-ray Tetra. Attention, science students. My see-through body is very revealing. Almost done. Y is for yak. Time for me to kick up my heels and hightail at home. See you later. And what's the last letter? Z is for zooborns. So here are all the baby animals that we saw in the story. 
So what was your favorite animal from the story, your favorite baby animal? Or if your favorite baby animal wasn't in the story, what is your favorite baby animal? So for an activity, you can draw your favorite baby animal and you can also learn a little bit about it if you want to ask some questions about the baby animal, like what does it eat or what does it look like? You can ask your mom or dad to help you find some information about your favorite baby animal. See you next time.